Uh, so the dish we're going to cook with you today is uh, frozen raspberries from Wexford um, and then we have a little buttermilk pudding, a little oat crumble. Um, so what we do for the buttermilk pudding is the first job we do. So we bring the cream and the sugar to the boil, just to the boil. Okay. And then what we do is we add our gelatine. So we're not looking for, if, if you want a really firm set, you can add more gelatine leaves to the recipe. We like it only just set, so it's only just holding its shape. So in with the gelatine. Just let that pick that off the heat. Just fill that in. All right. So what we do is transfer that into a bowl. We let that cool down. So we give it about an hour to cool down. Just to come, just so when we add the the buttermilk, it doesn't spit the buttermilk out. Okay. So now the cream is cooled down, what we're going to do is we're going to add the buttermilk so straight in, give a good whisk, and then into our container. And what we're going to do is we're just going to set these in some, set this in a little ramekin. Now you can set it in whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. But uh, so what we're going to do, seeing this is a pre dessert, we're not going to fill it all the way to the top, we're just going to give it like 40 grams. So about that much. So we leave that to cool now in the fridge and set for about two to three hours. All right. Uh, so now, now it's set. You can see just a slight wobble. Uh, so what we're going to do now is set the, the raspberry jelly on it. So in there is Rexford strawberries, um, some brown sugar, some raspberry wine made up in Wicklow, um, and just a touch of water. So what we do is that we put it into the bag into a backpack bag, bring it to the boil, um, cook it for about 20 minutes, and then we pass it through muslin, and then what we do is we set a gelatine, uh, so the ratio is one to one, so 100 liquid to one leaf gelatine. And we're just gonna pour that on very gently. Pour it on too quickly, it'll go burst through the buttermilk. So now we'll give that another hour to set, and then we're ready to go to finish the plating. So for the frozen raspberries, what we do is we take liquid nitrogen and we just add raspberries, that's it. So, just freeze dry them. Now you can do this in a Paco jet container uh, by freezing them overnight. Just a little bit more. Um, All we're doing is just looking to freeze them down. And what we do is we just store them in, we do these every day. And we store these in the freezer and just use them for the pre dessert when needed. So like I said, you can do it in the Paco Jet by leaving it in the Paco Jet container overnight. They're good to go. All right. So now what we do, now we've got these lovely frozen raspberries, what we do into a container. And we just leave them in the freezer till needed. Now you can put whole raspberries on if you want, we just find it's a nice technique to use. Um, uh, so to finish this dish, um, we literally, we take the set buttermilk with the jelly on top. We add a layer of the frozen raspberries, a few little nitrogen. Then what we do is take a nice oat crumble, just give it a texture. Uh, and then a few little wood sorrels. So the wood sorrel has been foraged down in Galway for us. And, and basically that's our frozen buttermilk pudding. 
with uh, Wexford strawberries, soles, and an oat crumble, and that's one of our pre-desserts on the on the market menu at the moment. So.